So, Jake. Man. So, look. Um, look, I heard this thing. Look, I don't want to bring you back to your childhood because you might have some tra traumatic kind of things, right? But this is a fascinating story to me once you told me, right? You mean all now those untreated uh, <laughs> concussions from playing substandard football helmets? Yes, start with that. What, now, how... Did you play football? You, you played football when you was a kid. Yeah, about how how played, about whole? About, so I, I might have the years wrong, but I think it was roughly ten to thirteen. Mm -hmm. I might have made it to four, eleven to fourteen, or ten to uh, ten to thirteen. But it was three solid years. And this was up in Connecticut. Yep. Okay. In, in uh, Wilson, Connecticut. So mm -hmm. there was two teams in Connecticut uh, in Windsor. Uh, we were Wilson was the part of town that was next to the north end of Hartford. So we were the quote unquote poor poor uh, side of town, you know. So we, Appropriate uh, yeah, enough. Like Appropriately our, uh, enough. Like our our Boy Scout troop there, troop twenty six. I can't believe I remember that shit. We had the old canvas tents, the old um, <laughs> the backpacks that weighed like forty you know, it's like why are these backpacks heavier than the shit I'm putting in there, right? So, you know, everything we had was bad, but the other side of town, mm. you know, was the quote unquote rich side of town mm. had the lightweight nylon tents and, and all that stuff, but also on the sporting field, they were the, they had all the, the good uniforms on that side. Mm -hmm. We had like nothing on our side, so we had we we had rags basically. I don't know how, why. But but out. but this, this here's the funny one to me. I'm, mm -hmm. I, I guess it's not funny. It's tragic. But describe your helmets. Again. Oh yeah. So the helmets. You know, we we basically we were called the Giants, but there was no blue and white. There was nothing relating to the Giants, but our entire uniforms were the basically the Cleveland Browns uniforms because we couldn't afford logos on the side of the helmet, so we mm -hmm. just had the white stripe and the orange helmets, you know, basically. Yeah, but, but didn't you have some some, it was some connection with your coach or something like or somebody? Oh, yeah, yeah. So my best friend's coach, uh, two doors on, Jeffrey Hill, his father played on Syracuse in the early 60s, so he played with, uh, well, he didn't play with Jim Brown. Jim Brown was before him, but the next guy... OJ? Uh, no, no, no. Ernie something. Man. Oh, Ernie uh, Banks? Uh, no, no, no. I, know, Banks. I, know, I, know, I, I know who you're talking about. He, he actually came down, I think he had leukemia or something. Like he never actually mm. played in the NFL, but he was going to. <gasps> yes, I did. they just did a documentary on him. Yes. Join, he was going to join the backfield. But yeah. and Luke Rosa was a great uh, field goal cooker. So he had this whole like legacy Syracuse University's great players playing for the Browns. So I became, I was a Browns player. Between the uniforms looking like the Browns, and my next door neighbor's father being the, the uh, coach of the team, having all these stories about the Browns. And hey, the Browns were friggin' good when I was growing up, too. So, so here you are in Connecticut becoming yep. a, a, a Cleveland. Cleveland. Browns fans. Yep. <laughs> the, the, but it's carried on to this day. Isn't that interesting? Absolutely. Yeah, why not? No, what, what, go become a Jets fan? Come on. Oh, a, oh, oh worse, a Giants fan? I mean, oh, excuse me. Let, let me. Can I say something? I, yeah. I know what those childhood things because the first job I ever had at 16 years old when you get your working papers yeah. in New York. Yeah, yeah. I um, sold so hot chocolate for the Giants at Yankee Stadium when sure. they were Yankee Stadium. And so I'm actually a Giants fan if you want to look at that. And that hasn't changed for yeah, just what it's just, yeah, just when you're I guess what happens in your ch childhood is, is what But it I is. did see the Giants play mm. my, my first NFL game. I went with that family, the Hills. And mm. we went to, I think it was. After they closed Yankee Stadium, they shut the mm. Giants out from there. And they yeah, were yeah. building the Met, Met Life or whatever it was called back then. Oh, oh it's Shea, they was at Shea Stadium then. They, oh, were they? they? Yeah, I think they were sharing with Shea Stadium with the Jets. It was sharing with somebody, and then they moved. To, then they were out in Jersey. So anyhow, they played, hmm. they played their home games at Yale Stadium. In right. Haven okay. For okay. a year or two. That's what I'm saying. That's, 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 that's where that's I saw them play. No, that's my first Giants game I, I watched No, that, that's what it was. Don't think they – no, no, that was the baseball or anything. Um, I was talking about Shady Stadium. Uh, with Yale? Yeah. Oh, they wow. built that thing. The rumor mm. has it they built that. In the, it, at the time, it was the largest stadium ever built in the States. Late 1800s, because Yale mm. had, you know, they were the football thing back yeah. then. Mm. Then versus who? Harvard or some shit like that? <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, so they have 100,000 people going to those games. Mm. And the rumor has it they only built, like, two bathrooms for the whole thing, and mm. they were all men's bathrooms. Mm. I mean, it was just, you know, not well designed and not retrofitted since, so wow. you better yeah. hold it if you're going to that game. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're, uh, we're, we should end this up, because I yeah. just wanted to find out about that, that uniform thing and the Browns thing, but, uh, yeah. so let's go, let's go to today. So what, 
the Browns had some hope or whatever. I'm not, I don't want to go to current with OBJ and, and, and whatever, but I'm just saying, what, what's your feeling about the state of football? You, you, it's changed because I know it's because in the years I've been away, when I come back, last year I got stuck here, and so yep. I started paying attention to football. Yep. What's fascinating to me is the commentators because there are a lot of ex-football players. They, they're just much more sophisticated. There's a I lot of women. So, yeah. so I mean, you, know, you can get some really in-depth stories. I mean, so. You can, and also, I mean, I, I actually know a lot of, not a lot. I know a couple guys that I, I work with that kind of rule. They, they don't watch football anymore. You know mm-hmm. why? Because of the damn statements. Just because of that, you know, the and racism and all that stuff. I say, are you kidding me? You're not watching <laughs> football because of that? You know, they, they think it became too woke and, and all that stuff. Oh, and, and, and I I didn't watch football for three years. I threw out, I, I didn't have a TV. When the Browns left Cleveland, Mm. And went to become the Baltimore Ravens, mm, mm, mm. and um, I said, "That's it, man. No more football for me." So mm. I, I, I understand boycotting the game, but gonna have for better good reasons. reasons, yeah. Because yeah. even even the Black Lives Matter, whatever that stuff is, that's the, I looked, at, I saw not a lot of them are not wearing it anymore in the back of the thing. Right. So it's, that's changed. Everything goes in waves. But what's I think what's interesting about the uh, commentaries I want to get to this is that there's a lot more stories. So sometimes you're following the... You mean so, backgrounds? So yeah, backgrounds. Yeah. So people have back, backgrounds. So you're getting a favorite pe- person just for their story, you know, rather than right. their, I won't say their ability, but rather than what's happening with the team or whatever it is, you know. Uh, it's, it's just such, I mean, they try to hide the fact that, listen, you got these, I don't know what you call them, they're freaks of nature, yes, these, you go. these folks, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they, they're no one that big should mm. be able to run that fast mm. and hit that hard. Be that but agile. They, yep. and, and, but it happens, right? Mm-hmm. And, and still walk away from it. And mm. we try to, they're trying to put rules in there to protect people, which mm. I get. Mm-hmm. But bottom line, it's a vicious thing, man. So maybe they should go back to rugby rules. Take the damn helmets off, uh. you know, and like, you know, you, your body's going to react to not having all those pads and stuff. Oh, your, your brain is going to say, hey, maybe I shouldn't do that any, anymore, you know? Yeah. I, I, look, I was, when I first came to South Africa, the scrum for, for rugby was, right. sort of, was sort of far apart. Right. And they changed the rule. About a couple of years after I was there, they made it closer so you wouldn't have that, 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 that thing to that run in like that. Force, yeah. But the thing is, you don't find a whole lot of rugby players getting all jet banged up like that. No. And plus, do you remember, Brooke? So, uh, we asked somebody, asked somebody one time, what what sport would translate to you know what what American sport would translate to rugby, vice versa? He said, mm-hmm. only one is basketball because you play offense and defense. You don't get off the field. Remember, football is a is a specialty right. thing, yeah, 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 and so yeah. when you're just when you're just running, and that's your whole page is you paying millions out just to run. I'm mm-hmm. not saying you're hitting, just to run. You're going to be a specialist in running, right. and then plus remember the whole thing is about TV and. You, the commercial breaks, the sure. with the, all that stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, or in like OBJ's case, you're getting paid to drop the ball. So you know, <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> you're a brown hater. Well, you don't have to worry about OBJ no more. OBJ. He go <laughs> listen to a, a true Browns fan. Well, listen, we, <laughs> I, I heard a poll yesterday in New York. Sixty uh, percent of Giants fans do not want that cap back. Because he can't stay on the field, mm, you know. Mm, That's mm. the bottom line. Mm, mm. You got to you got to stay on the field mm. if, if you're taking up a spot. Yeah. So. Okay, this is a good place to end. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jay.